This is a trout magnet. The trout magnet has become one of the top selling lures around the country over the past 20 years. One of the biggest questions we have though is, how do we fish it? We know wherever we go, that if we use the system we fish with, we outfish everybody around us. So we wanna teach you how that system works to help you catch fish on the trout magnet. The first thing you have to know when you start fishing the trout magnet is, we use two pound line on the entire spool. Two pound SOS was designed just for uh, fish in the trout magnet. It's a light line, but very strong. I catch giant fish in the two pound test. So you start with two pound line, then the next thing you have to have is a good light action rod, something with a good backbone. The SLS rod and the trout series rod that we sell has exactly that. It's a fast tip. It's not a noodle in the middle. Very important. When you're getting a reel, make sure you get a reel with a metal spool, open face, that has a good drag system on it. And make sure it's something that you can fish that light line on that's not a big spool. Uh, a 1000 series and smaller is perfect. The next part that's very crucial is the easy trout float. It's a very small float. It's got a slot in it. It makes it go on and off the line very easy. Once you get this setup done, this is the only thing you move as you fish. Now watch how easy this is. You take the easy trout float, you pull the little peg out, and you slide the float onto the line. The float now is just going through the big part of the hole, and I'll take the peg and pinch the float. Now it's stuck there. All I gotta do now when I go to different spots, pull the peg out, slide it up, and repeg it. Once you have your easy trout float on your line, you can tie your fluorocarbon leader to the main line coming out of your rod. Fluorocarbon is dense and clear in the water and helps the lure to fall more naturally, but more importantly, trout can't see it. Does this make a difference? Oh my, I would drive all the way back home today if I forgot this. You tie 18 to 24 inches of it on and take your main line coming out of your rod and your fluorocarbon leader and put the two ends together. Make a granny knot three times and tighten it down and you're ready to go. Once that 18 to 24 inches is on, you're ready to tie your trout magnet onto your fluorocarbon leader. First, you take your line and feed it through the eye. Do not ever use a snap or a swivel with a trout magnet. It completely messes the action up and it just doesn't work. So take the, the trout magnet and feed it through the line like this. Now at this point, you can tie any line that's got a good twist in it. We like what we call the trout magnet knot. It's also called the pits and knot, which is a very easy knot to tie and is very strong. Basically in my right hand, I've created a gun and uh, um, I run the, run the line through my fingers, down through the trout magnet and up to the end. And if you notice, here's the end of the line right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna spin the lure up over that tag end five or six times. Once it stops in my right hand, I've created a loop. And I hold it right at the base of that loop until I can feed the line end through that loop. Then I grab a hold of it. I pull it just tight a little bit, then I can let go of that tag end. And a lot of times I'll wet this right through here so it doesn't um, kink up and I'll slide that knot down and tighten it up. Now I trim off my end and I'm ready to go. Once your trout magnet is tied onto your main line, you wanna make sure that the body is perfectly on straight. So here's how that works. The trout magnet's got a split in the tail. The body has a split in the tail. What you wanna do is you wanna take your hook and your body and you wanna run the hook right through the center of that body and out the split of the tail. Once it comes out the split of the tail, if you push it up, it should look straight. If it does not look straight, re-thread it and put it back on. Now we're set. We set our drag because we have two pound lines, we can pull it out. And now with this trout magnet system, you're ready to hit the stream. Now the next thing we want to do is show you how to read the water. Check this out. As you look at the river, you'll notice as the stream comes down through here, you're looking for the seam in the water where the water is going to move. Hey, we're going to want to cast upstream and let it drift past us, getting a more natural drift, catching those fish that are all facing upstream looking for food to drift past them. So what we want to do is we want to cast upstream and know that we're going to drift. I think I'm about the right depth through here and I'm going to pop it as I come through as I drift through the, the river. As long as it's drifting naturally, that trout magnet's natural. And that right there is what happens. First cast, step up to the stream. It wasn't an accident. We had the right equipment, we had the right setup. And whenever you have the right setup and drift the trout magnet naturally, this is what happens. The deal is this, is once you start fishing the system, you start getting confidence. Everywhere you go, all you're doing is changing your depth. It's not that we have a skill, it's that we have the right system and setup to fish a trout magnet. With a trout magnet, I promise you will outfish anything that's out there, guaranteed. Now, you've never used a trout magnet before. What do you think about it? Does it work all right? It does. It really does. <laughs>
result. So look them all.